Holmes, Gerald Morin at Advanced Wireless Incorporated, and want to thank you for joining us today for this week's Quick Peek, where we'll be showcasing Zebra's all-new AP7562 802.11ac uh, outdoor access point, mesh access point, point-to-point -point bridge, and more. So for most of you, you already know that Advanced Wireless Inc. provides the technologies that really enables the Internet of Things, whether you're looking at automated data capture with barcode data collection or RFID, to wireless LAN and broadband solutions, to mobile computing or wireless intrusion prevention, we're your one-stop shop, and you can find us at www.awimobility.com. Com. But back to this week's quick, quick peek. We've been anxiously awaiting the release of Zebra's all-new AP7562. Now, we've seen other models out there by other manufacturers that were really either outside of the price range of most enterprise users um, or just simply didn't offer the feature set. So we've been anxiously awaiting to see if they were really going to port all that Wing 5 technology that they've been winning so many awards for into this little guy. And to our surprise, when we pulled him out of the box, sure enough, he did. He is running Zebra's full Wing uh, 5.x operating system in there. What does that mean for you is not only is he capable of wireless LAN on both 2, 4, and 5 gigahertz, but he has that enterprise um, uh, rated um, router uh, built right into him, uh, DHCP uh, server, radius server, uh, captive portal for hotspot connections, and more. All, once again, built right into the AP. So, as he is running the Wing 5 uh, operating system, he is site survivable. So, if you do want to have these managed by a controller uh, or the cloud, um, you can do so. And if data comms ever goes down somewhere in your network, they will stay up and operational. As I mentioned earlier on, not only is he an outdoor AP, but once again, in the Wing 5 operating system, you find that he supports both mesh, point-to-point, point-to-multi-point, as well as just providing traditional uh, outdoor access point functionality. So all in one, there's, and I want to make this clear, there's no additional licenses to run it in any one of those modes. So very flexible, very affordable. He, um, you can either manage him via a cloud-based or hardware-based controller at your, at your NOC, or he actually, since once again he's running that Wing 5 operating system, he can serve as a controller for up to 24 other like devices as well. Uh, he does utilize Smart RF so he can dynamically tune himself to the frequencies and the output power that's needed to maintain the mesh or the point-to-point -point or point-to-multi-point -point links. He does have built-in wireless intrusion prevention as well. So he's not going to tell you if I think there's a rogue. He's going to tell you if he sees a rogue, meaning an AP that's on your wired network transmitting data. And if you allow him to, he can automatically implement Couser measures, measures to bring down that rogue. He does have the full DHCP server, radius server, captive portal server, all built right into him as well as part of that operating system. And for those of you who aren't sure of what the captive portal feature is, that's the server that allows you uh, hotel-like um, guest access and hotspot functionality. In addition, he has a level 2 through level 7 uh, firewall that is not only on his wired Ethernet port, but on the inside the radio as well. He gets applied in both places. So should someone inadvertently pick up something at home and bring it into the workplace, or if you're using them in a government application or, or other outdoor applications, somebody could inadvertently be launching a denial of service attack on your network, um, and it would actually get stopped at the radio. It wouldn't even have to go all, all the way back on and go to the controller. It would stop right there at the radio. Uh, as I mentioned before, he has a local uh, router or enterprise router built into him, and he does local QoS tagging and so much more. Once again, None of these require additional licenses, which is one of the things we really like about the Zebra Wing 5 feature set. Uh, when it comes to mesh capabilities, etc., he uses Zebra's um, patented Mesh Connects technology. Uh, this is something they brought over that they got, uh, they got to keep uh, from the Motorola um, divesture and uh, sail over to Zebra. What that means is there's over 200 patents in that routing engine and protocol that was really designed for the US military to enable tanks as they moved around to, to dynamically form a mesh so they can communicate between them. That's the kind of technology extremely fast that is built into the mesh engine on here. 
uh, very high speed, very fault tolerant, and it, it takes more proactive approaches. If it sees that a, a link may be getting weaker, it'll already begin testing additional links and tear down and rebuild uh, the mesh uh, as needed with really no users even notice, noticing it happen. So once again, it supports its AP mode, which is uh, once again just putting out wireless LAN service to your customers, uh, mesh point to point or point to multipoint, depending on what your need is. So he does have two radios in him, one at 2.4 gigahertz and the other at 5 gigahertz. The 2.4 does run all the way up to the turbo form of 802.11n. What that means is if you have clients that support it, he will actually talk all the way up to, at a data rate of 600 megabits per second. Now on the 5 gigahertz per radio, he is doing true 3x3 three three, uh, MIMO with three concurrent data streams, meaning he can achieve data rates up to 1.3 gigabits per second. So once again, you can assign certain lands to one radio or for backhaul and the other to another. So it gives you a tremendous amount of flexibility there. All the inherent transmit beam forming with a special things, a few special things that Zebra has added on to once again improve performance and signal quality. Uh, he does utilize external antennas. Um, so um, you'll see that there are six N style connectors on the top and bottom. The bottom are the 2.4 gigahertz, go to the 2.4 gigahertz radio, and the top, the 5 gigahertz radio. And being that he can uh, utilize up to three concurrent spatial streams, it means he can transmit and receive across all three for one radio at any given time. So very, very flexible. Uh, for output power on 2.4, we, f we find a combined conducted transmit power of 25.7 and 24.7 at 5 gigahertz. What that means is you can go to Depending on your antenna type and environment, you can literally transmit for miles and miles, uh, whether it's in a point-to-point -point or point-to-multi-point -point scenario. So very flexible there. He does also, across the bottom, you're going to find he has two 1 gigabit uh, Ethernet connectors as well as one um, console port. So very nice to always have that there. Uh, with the two gigabit ports, remember he's got an internal router in him as well that is enterprise class, highly secure, um, and, and rated and tested. So um, you could literally connect him up to two networks and have him doing some dynamic routing or leave him on the same network if you wanted to plug in, let's say, uh, a video camera or something else to that port. So, and, uh, and still have a wire back. So very nice, very flexible. When we look at the casing, as I mentioned before, uh, he is IP67 rated. Uh, so you can literally hose him down with a fire hose and then put him in a freezer and then take him down to the Bahamas for some fun in the sun. It's really not gonna affect this guy. He's not as heavy as you think he would be. He comes in at just under six pounds. Uh, IP67 die cast aluminum enclosure, which is treated. So it is rust resistant, corrosion resistant, et cetera. Et cetera. Uh, his operating temperature goes from negative 40 degrees Fahrenheit all the way up to 140. Once again, that's not storage, that is operational. Uh, he has a wind rating of up to 150 uh, miles per hour, and he comes with any variety of building or pole mount options. So once again, that's just a quick peek at the 802.11ac. Um, new outdoor point-to-point -point mesh and everything else access point offered up by Zebra. If you would like to see more information on it, please feel free to join us at www.awimobility.com forward slash WLAN and you'll find not only the AP7562 but a whole host of other enterprise and mid-tier level access points for those smaller enterprises as well. Once again, thank you for tuning in and we look forward to seeing you next week.